Welcome to a time of Bible readings and hymns with your host, David Kenny of the Wadsworth Church of Christ on West Good Avenue in Wadsworth, Ohio. When the moonlight glows, God reigns, God reigns over the nations, God sits on His holy throne. Our God, the Most High God, doth rule in the kingdom of men. He raises up kings and rulers, cast down, appointing all boundaries and times. The power he gives to whomever he will, but heals not control from on high. God reigns, God reigns over the nations, God sits on his holy throne. Our God, the Most High God, doth rule in the kingdom of men. The proud he collapses, the lowly he saves, submission of hearts he demands. The nations who willingly humble themselves will be the dominions that stand. God reigns, God reigns over the nations, God sits on his holy throne. Our God, the Most High God, doth rule in the kingdom of men. The sun from a mountain cut off without hands, this kingdom will never be conquered. Against the hell's gates shall never prevail, its throne will be left to no other. God reigns, God reigns over the nations, God sits on his holy throne. Our God, the Most High God, doth rule in the kingdom of men. That throne sits on high in the depths of men's hearts, won over by willing surrender. A warfare with weapons to carnal affair, no tyrant our king but our father. God reigns, God reigns over the nations, God sits on his holy throne. Our God, the Most High God, doth rule in the kingdom of men. Luke chapter 15. Then drew near unto him all the publicans and sinners for to hear him. And the Pharisees and the scribes murmured, saying, This man receiveth sinners, and eateth with them. And he spake this parable unto them, saying, What man of you, having an hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness, and go after that which is lost, until he find it? And when he hath found it, he layeth it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth, more than over ninety and nine just persons which need no repentance. Either what woman, having ten pieces of silver, if she lose one piece, doth not light a candle, and sweep the house, and seek diligently till she find it? And when she hath found it, she calleth her friends and her neighbors together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the piece which I had lost. Likewise they say unto you, There is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repenteth. And he said, A certain man had two sons. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falleth to me. And he divided unto them his living. And not many days after, the youngest son gathered all together, and took his journey into a far country, and there wasted his substance with riotous living. And when he had spent all, there rose a mighty famine in that land, and he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into the fields to feed swine. And he would fain have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat, and no man gave unto him. And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my father's house have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger? I will rise and go to my father, and I will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. And he arose and went to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him, and had compassion, and ran, and fell on his neck, and kissed him. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven, and in thy sight, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servants, Bring forth the best robe, and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand, and shoes on his feet. 
and bring hither the fatted calf, and kill it, and let us eat, and be merry. For this my son was dead, and is alive again. He was lost, and is found. And they began to be merry. Now his elder son was in the field, and as he came and drew nigh to the house, he heard music and dancing. And he called one of the servants, and asked what these things meant. And he said unto him, Thy brother is come, and thy father hath killed the fatted calf, because he hath received him safe and sound. And he was angry, and would not go in. Therefore came his father out, and entreated him. And he answered and said to his father, Lo, these many years do I serve thee, neither transgressed I at any time thy commandment. And yet thou never gavest me a kid, that I may marry with my friends. But as soon as this thy son has come, which hath devoured thy living with harlots, thou hast killed for him the fatted calf. And he said unto him, Son, thou art even ever with me, and all that I have is thine. It was meet that we should make merry and be glad, for this thy brother was dead and is alive again, and was lost and is found. Bible Readings and Hymns with your host, David R. Kenny, with The Church of Christ in Wadsworth, Ohio, recorded at WCTV Studios, with music provided by Andy Robison, www.churchofchristsongs.com. Bible Readings and Hymns has been produced by the Gospel Broadcasting Network. When the moon